What's up everyone, Asher Angel here, and I'm hanging with J14. Oh my gosh, put my phone on silent, what an amateur. The song came to me, and it really, it really just connected with me, it resonated with me, and I thought it was cool. Um, I just thought, it, you know, people, you know, kids, teenagers, feel like that, right? Um, so I went in, I cut the song. It was, I think it was like 11 at night and um, felt really good about the song. And it was cool because prior to um, perf actually doing Chills, um, we had a song locked in um, for the next single. So it was crazy, right? Because all of this is happening. We're like, okay, we have the next single, this can wait. I'm like, no, I love this song. It connects with me, the fans will love it. Let's try it. So I went in, recorded it. It was a great session. Um, I felt really happy about it. And uh, a couple days later, we got the song back and I was just, this is exactly how I pictured I wanted the next single to feel like. And um, I feel like the rollout from One Thought Away to Chills just made sense to me. And um, I'm just excited, you know, it connects with me. You know, there's a certain point in my life where I felt like that. So um, I'm excited for the fans to hear it. I guess I hope they take away that the new music is very important because it's real, you know, it's authentic. It's, you know, my lyrics, I want them to, to say something. I don't want them to just, you know, just be there and it's just a song that you groove to. Um, it's actually coming from me and, you know, me as an artist and a human being. Oh, the fan reaction was incredible. It was my first tour. I didn't really know what to expect. You know, I've never been on the road. So um, it was, you know, a little bit scary for the most part. But uh, I'll tell you, my fans showed up. They were there every day. They were, you know, waiting on all the lines, doing the meet and greets with me. Um, it's so nice to be able to interact with them and, you know, meet with them in person because, you know, they're the best. I only get to do this because of them. So I love you guys. <laughs> I think the standout memory for me was actually here in New York. The New York show was um, pretty incredible. It was my first time playing in, um, I think my first real show in New York actually. So it was it was amazing seeing like all my fans and actually getting to see how many fans I have in New York because <laughs> it was crazy. Like my meet and greet was so long. Um, I don't really know. I mean, the standout moment, I think walking onto that stage for the first show was like, just everything was a blur, like, whew, like I was in my head. It was, it was amazing. I don't really know how to describe it. It was, it was incredible. Ah! Main thing I'm hoping to accomplish is, I think, the messaging. Um, like I said, I want my music to speak to my fans. You know, I'm putting this out because it's a part of me, and um, yeah. Um, we have, yeah, I mean, of course we're always going to be, you know, the bestest of friends. Um, it's hard when, you know, we're all doing our own things, you know, you know, shooting other things, doing music, but we, um, we try to stay in contact and, you know, we FaceTime and text here and there. We still have our Andy Matt group chat, so it's nice to, um, yeah, it'll be nice to see their faces, miss them. Can I read it? I don't even know if I could... I don't even know if I could finally have my phone, but I could probably tell you about it. It was for our um, uh, our GLAD, our third GLAD nomination, so it was super exciting. Um, yeah, we all like FaceTime each other and we're like, oh my gosh, we won three GLAD, we got nominated for three. Like, it's incredible. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, who has it? Joshua Bassett, my goodness. Um, yeah, the show's incredible. Sophia, you're so great in it. I love the show, I'm a super fan. I was a super fan of the movies and now they got a TV series out and come on, who doesn't love them some High School Musical? The musical, <laughs> the series. Ugh. I don't think I know, I don't think I know. I haven't really read the script yet. I need to, I need to get all of that. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this journey for Shazam too because I feel like I'm playing a completely um, different character. It's, it's, you know, he's, he's new and it's the evolved Billy basically um, because as, as you can see in the first movie at the end of it, he had his superpowers, had his family. So like, what's next? So I'm excited to take on that challenge. I think going on all our like 
I don't know, we went on, we did like all these fun activities while we were there. We went to the Toronto Raptors game, we went to the Maple Syrup Factory, we went to just all, we did all these fun things together, which I think it made it really memorable for um, me and my parents and my siblings.